Looking for some creative help? Traction Waveform 9's Pattern Generator can speed up your music production or inspire you to create something amazing. Welcome back to another simple green tech video where we do audio recording tips, tutorials, and reviews to help you create great audio content. If that's something you're interested in, please subscribe to the channel. I'm Radio Zane, and in today's video, we're looking at Traction Waveform 9's Pattern Generator. I've already done an overall Waveform 9 review. If you want, you can check that out. I'll link to it in the description. And we'll also be releasing even more Waveform videos, so be sure to subscribe to see more. Now on to the Pattern Generator. There are different ways you can use this feature. If you already have a song that you're working on, let's say you have some sections recorded and you just want to add something to them. You can go up to the chord track, insert a new chord clip. We're going to stretch it so it goes right to the end of our clip here. And you can change the key that you want it to be in by clicking down here on the B and then going over here to key. You can choose whatever one you want. We want it in B and we want the scale to be major, but again, you can choose whatever you like there. And then for the chord progression, we're going to do a one, four, five, four progression. Very simple. Now let's listen to what this sounds like. We have the incredible $1 synth vacuum pro lined up in this track. And this is just sort of our chord track here. Let's give it a listen. All right, so we have chords and drums. Now let's add a bass line to this. I already have a synth lined up on track four. It is the Traction Retro Mod Fat Synth, and we have a bass patch loaded up, ready to go. All we need now is a bass line. So we're going to create a new MIDI clip here. And with the MIDI clip selected, go down to Pattern Generator, your pattern style. For this, we want a bass line, so we're going to choose Bass Line. And we want to make sure the key is following the chord track. So that means everything's going to follow the notes that we have up here. And then down here, we don't even have to write in the notes. We can just choose from one of these presets here. And I'm going to choose the Air preset for this. Now let's give that a listen. All right, so that sounds pretty good. It goes with our chords and our drums. So we're going to keep that bass line here. With your songs, you can experiment as you like. You can even go in and change it up if you like. You can double click on the MIDI clip, then that brings up the step sequencer, and you can just change around these notes as you see fit, but we're just leaving it the way it is. Now we have a bass line, drums, some chords. Let's look at another way that we can use this pattern generator, and that's to create a melody for this song. So we're gonna do that on track five, and I already have the Traction Collective synth loaded here, so you can load that up, and we're gonna bring in a new MIDI clip. And with the MIDI clip selected, we go down to Pattern Generator, Pattern Style. For this, we want Melody. And you can see it's put in all these grayed out notes here. You could go in and paint in a melody just by clicking and dragging. I'll show you, like this. And say that's our melody. Let's give that a listen. And you can hear I missed some spots there. So you can go in and draw those spots into your pattern if you like. Now, another way that we could do a melody is when you go into melody here, you can go to randomize notes. And then it's just going to do it for you. Let's hear how that sounds. And that's a way you can just randomize a melody 
And sometimes it might sound good. Sometimes it might sound close to what you want and you can just adjust the notes to where you want them to go. It won't let you put notes that shouldn't be long. So that's great. So that's another cool way to use the pattern generator and waveform nine. And everything follows along with this chord track up here. And if you were to make changes to your chord progression, say in this one, we wanted to do a six note instead of the five. We do that and it's going to change everything to go along with it. You can see how this tool can help boost your creativity by either allowing you to add some instrumentation quickly or by inspiring you to create something new. You could even create whole songs without playing a single instrument. So let me know, do you think the pattern generator will help you with your songwriting by either inspiring or speeding up the song recording process? Let me know in the comments below how the pattern generator has either helped you already or how you think it could help you in the future. We have more Traction Waveform tutorials coming up. Be sure to subscribe to the channel to keep up with them. For Simple Green Tech, I'm Radio Zane, and we'll talk soon.